Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing to play this wonderful mod. Time for Operation Hellborn Fog, <coughs> where we're trying to get intel and we got a very small squad. Kind of the leftovers this is actually going to be an interesting and equally difficult mission. We want to hinder advent operations and liberate the region a bit further. And we're doing that by sabotaging a transmitter. Going to do it a little bit, uh, the stealth version of it, and then uh, hopefully afterwards kill every uh, living being that is still remaining there. All right, we landed. Psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Our intel suggests destroying it while it's still connected will severely damage their linked systems. Plant the explosives before they have a chance to pull the plug. Good, we're going to do exactly that. So the idea here is we want to break cover relatively early. The Shinobi is going to be the main scout for this operation. Objective not guided. And the job of uh, the Reaper is to stir up some drama, maybe trigger some losses and so on. And then the real question will be, <coughs> how do we manage to uh, stay alive for five turns until we are being rescued? Okay. Can I get an evac here? That will break our concealment. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Both but not, of course not for the Shinobi. Understood, moving out. We've got an enemy squad here. That's a difficult pack right there. Could move from here and then break in. That's, by the way, an absolute cool building if I've ever seen one. triggering anything next turn we're going to go and stir some drama down there well done as we had hoped the network separation has been temporarily delayed okay that sounds not too bad I'm thinking this round is too early, but next round we might be able to start Waiting stirring up something. Heading there now. Let's get us in position. Hmm. Yeah, I think for now just overwatch loss will spawn next turn there's a pack down there My natural habitat. Um, I go where I let's am. see I don't think that that's what it, uh, squad, uh, that pot is near any remote startable object no not really between two bus stations this year is a squad that is much more dangerous for us, so I'd like to move in because next turn we might need to kill them. That's affirmative. All right, we can move in, start it, and be done with it. Be 
Seems doable. Moving to Overwatch. The lost appear in the middle of nowhere. Fantastic. This guy's just slither tried to slither away. Can I somehow <coughs> move to the objective? No. Well, we do have command. <coughs> not going to be visible immediately Can he command over? No. And that's the radius of influence. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's the best case scenario. concealment you can see him that's good Oscar Mike and command over And whilst we're at it, don't want to be found um, spotted out up here. Deal with them as you wish. The grappler will teach you an important lesson. We unfortunately can't stay any longer in the sh uh, shadows because we haven't killed anyone really, so we're being revealed now. Good. We do have our evac over there, right? Right. Might be the most clever solution to simply go up here and then drop down. No 
to get as close to here as possible. attack the grappler. Whatever, we're going up there. Good, we're likely going to take some form of damage, but I don't think it's going to be too rough. Priest and the Viper still will deal with these guys. Eleven points critical, holy. Priest is lucky that he got away. Stabilizing. And reviving. Very good. We don't have our shadows, uh, so... Instead... Let's trigger all of the Overwatch. Exroth does exactly that. Wow, more Overwatch. Just what we needed, right? That'll still trigger two overwatches. Not, not good. Covering ground. We'll stay here. Well hidden. And next turn we're just going to move out. That is a rough mission.
Even more Overwatch, fantastic. I would be surprised if any of that hits, that's kind of a 5% shot at best. Removing some overwatch would be good. Sergeant here is a good target for that. Protocoling ourselves and we are trying to pull as little overwatch as possible. It went as well as I would have expected it to do. Terrible mission. But that we got the liberation. With a little bit uh, of tricks here and there. The Evex zone could have been positioned slightly better in a way that you could jump down from either side without triggering Overwatch. <clears throat> That's a learning for me for the next time. As long as there's even one Reaper left standing. Yeah, well. Still in the fight. On great. The 16 and 22 days. Well, the 22 are well deserved because... Holy moly, did we... Did we just take damage? Commander, combat against the aliens day in and day out is no easy task. And eventually the stress takes its toll in various ways. We'll need to keep an eye on each soldier to manage their traits. Good. Uh, that's the first... well, not the first time, but... We had a couple of bravely wounded uh, soldiers. Close one. Yeah, 22 days, even with the infirmary. Might be able to reduce that uh, by scanning some healing. Setting course for sector 14. I'm not sure if we do have the manpower to do the network tower now. Hard for a couple of days. We could put the ultramarines on it. Listen, if uh, this here would be the SWAT, uh, let's see if we have a spare shinobi. Tired. John Ripper Anderson is ready, but in a different SWAT. We could <coughs> take him and uh, take him as a Shinobi. Do we have the necessary firepower to go through that? It's not that bad. I think we actually do. So if this is the team, I think I can work with it. The Ultramarines could uh, do their duty. Just out of curiosity, John Ripper is currently 
in the Imperial Fist, kind of learning his ways, but he would need to wait four days anyways until the tax here is back. So might as well give him uh, the chance to actually get some experience by himself. Uh, that, yeah, I think that's fine. Let me just uh, set this up correctly. Okay, we're just going to infiltrate that 100%. Six days, uh, 12 hours seems about right. Uh, got a, a decent setup here. Maybe a bit shy on the damage department. But we're going to be okay with that, I think. Um, in terms of just overall damage, raw damage, uh, we... I think it could be okay. We still got uh, some more crowd control. We'll move th uh, through and then hopefully the DM and Ripper as well as Big Sleep will deal most of uh, the, uh, the damage in between the three of them. Keep in mind it's also not a difficult network tower, not nearly as difficult as the ones that we had in the other regions. Yeah, I can't do that, not with a baseline of 20 enemies. I would like to scan so that our healing gets uh, sped up. Uh, what just finished? Oh, Space Wolves over here. Yeah, we wanted to over infiltrate. That we can launch now. Don't need to wait longer. But that's going to be a tough cookie. Neutralize the target and we're going to get into the question is, if we are boosting this, it'll be down two notches. And I remember very well that was the one where uh, we took 7 versus 30. I think we can take it. I think we can take it, but that happens in the next episode. For now, we're okay the way uh, we are. Coil guns are still on the way for uh, for research. We have still have quite gravely wounded soldiers, but with the extra healing, uh, which stacks uh, with the infirmary, we're actually making very very quick progress there. So that should uh, solve itself soon. Mm. <clears throat> Might want to. Uh, get these guys into action as well. We have a few We have a few soldiers that are that would be ready for action, but they had, haven't seen any action Let's just double check uh, that so Putting you and you and you out Let's do SWAT management, my favorite task at the end of every episode. So, do we have any further rookies? These guys are still training. These are not, are not trainable further. So, we might uh, be able to build up another SWAT uh, soon. These are all full, right? So there is no uh, no one else. And in at the moment we do have a three. Uh, so uh, wait, 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 wait. Um, I'm always forgetting that. Wait a second. Wait a second. We had a squad. I think it was the Space Wolves. Yeah where we need to take um, Leo and Paladin out of that squad because they are running uh, covert ops the entire time. So they effectively wouldn't be here, so we need to back uh, backfill the squad. At the moment we have partially done so, but we need a sharpshooter and a frontliner. One 
frontliner. Let's see who we do have. One frontliner could be Raven, um, who is gravely wounded, but we still could put her in. Um, so that would be good. Once she's back, the Space Wolves uh, have a new Primark. And the other one could be either Hawkeye as a sniper. Yeah, or we find someone else. Anyways, nothing to do at the moment. We're not having enough um, soldiers to set up a new squad. But we certainly have <coughs> six or seven missions parallel infiltrating. Next time we're going to see um, a huge infiltration. I think this is the... So Granites um, are going to go to liberate... Uh, this area. So that's happening the next time. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next episode. Bye bye